Suit of Cards, a radio drama told through letters. Episode 6, Death. Death, often misinterpreted, the death card brings forth the meaning of ending, beginnings, change, as well as a transition and acceptance of faith, while the reverse brings the meaning of stagnation, refusal to move on, and exhaustion. November 1856. Dear Ace, we did as you asked and read the letter to Ada. She seemed more intrigued with the shiny, dainty locket that came with the letter. Of course, this necklace will be placed in a jewelry box out of grabbing hands until she's old enough to not try and eat it. Babies are so strange, but also so wonderful. But I guess in just a few months' time, she will no longer be a baby as she will have turned one. She's able to walk when she's holding on to something like a table in Nanny's hand. She has not yet spoken, but Mother says not to worry as some children take more time to talk. In fact, she said you did not start talking until you were almost two. Maybe she will start talking when her baby brother or sister get here. Your loving sister, Little Lottie. January, 1857. Dear Ace, the holidays and Ada's birthday have passed without any words or presents from you. While I do not think that presents are mandatory, you have to admit it is quite out of character for you not to send your niece a gift on such special occasions. I hope you are doing well and that this is just a symptom of your often forgetful brain. Please respond soon. Your loving sister, Little Lottie. March, 1857. Dear Ace, I'm starting to fear the worst. You've always been very bad at returning letters in a timely manner, but this is way longer than even you could stomach. I'm hoping that you were just very busy or unable to receive my letters, but... What if that's not the case? I'm trying not to stress too much as I don't want to hurt the baby, but it is very hard when I have not heard from you in so long. Please, please, brother, please respond. Your loving sister, little Lottie. July, 1857. Dear Ace, I am sorry I have not written in a long time, but life is harder than you could imagine with a one-year-old running around the house and a baby crying on your hip. As you've probably inferred, you have a new niece, Elizabeth Sylvia Marie. She was born in April shortly after my last letter to you. She came a couple weeks earlier than expected. We thought she was going to die, but Dr. Walsh's help, she was able to grow and is now a bright, burbling baby. You'll especially be happy to hear that Ada finally started talking. What was her first word, you ask? Elephant. After the soft toy you gave her when she was just a baby. I guess even she loves you with all this distance there is between us. Please respond soon. Or even better, please come see me. And your beautiful nieces. Your loving sister. Little Lottie. August, 1857. Dear Ace, Brother, I do fear you are dead, but I cannot stop writing you. January, 1858. It may, but probably will not surprise you that I'm once again pregnant. March, 1858. You've officially had your funeral. You've been gone so long, Mom and Dad thought you were dead for a year. Me, for a few months. August, 1859. Twins! Can you believe it? Our son Augustus Wilde and our daughter Charlotte Edith Marie, they're all so beautiful and healthy. We've been blessed. Your loving sister, little Lottie. December, 1859. Dear Ace, I don't know how to say this, as the news is too terrible to even think of. It is so hard to even believe, and yet it is so true. The fever, it, it took my sweet baby. Dr. Walsh did 
all he could. But she was buried. Christmas Eve. She never even saw her first Christmas. Her first birthday. My sweet angel, Charlotte, is now watching us from heaven. May you watch over her in heaven and keep her safe and loved until we may have joined her. Even though I know this letter has been received by an empty house where you used to wander, I hope, I hope, spirit will still reside there, at least enough to receive these letters, but I know that is foolhardly. This will probably be my last letter to you, a loving sister, a mother, a brave parent, a wife, Lottie. Thank you for listening. This has been Suit of Cards. If you want to listen again, or if you are just tuning in, you can go to our website at theatreofthemindcompany.webs.com. Theatre is spelled T-H-E-A-T-R-E. Farewell until the next letter.